We support the United Kingdom's sovereign choice. However, Brexit ultimately shakes out and we'll be on the doorstep, pen in hand, ready to sign a new free trade agreement at the earliest possible time. This government, this cabinet, is absolutely resolved, determined to leave the EU by the end of October. We will stay good friends uh, and good neighbours uh, with our European partners, uh, but we are at the same time determined to seize the global opportunities beyond Europe for the United Kingdom. Uh, President Trump has made clear again that he wants an ambitious free trade agreement with the UK. So I hope we can make that happen as soon as possible after we leave the EU on the 31st of October. I want to thank Britain on behalf of President Trump and our administration for your decision to assist in the protection of the Strait of Hormuz and the freedom of navigation. Uh, you've got centuries of maritime expertise under your belt, so uh, you understand the importance of protecting international shipping from unprovoked attacks. On uh, JCPOA, uh, we continue to want to uh, make the deal work, uh, and more broadly, I would just say, uh, de-escalate tensions so far as we can. But in the context of the maritime uh, issue, it's absolutely imperative to uphold freedom of navigation uh, in the Strait of Hormoz, but also more generally. And on the issue of trust, this is a question of uh, sticking to the rules-based international system.